My name is Dick Pesco. I work as a private detective in Crooked Valley, a town so disgusting all hospitals give newborn babies Uzis to protect themselves with. I get all sorts of losers in here. Guys checking on their wives aren't cheating on them. Guys that want to check they aren't being followed by their wives when they go out cheating. It's not exactly honest worse, but it pays my chocolate milk addiction I picked up when I was a kid. But little did I know that my life was never going to be the same again. Hi. Hope I'm not disturbing you. Hey, how do you get past my secretary? Well, all that was left of her was this note on her desk saying gone shopping back in six hours. Metal note, get another secretary. With all my cash, I could buy you an army of personal secretaries. My name's Martin Genre. Sorry, my wife would be with me, but she's outside getting robbed at the moment. This damn Crooked Valley. I want you to find this girl for me. Hey, listen, pal. You want a girl? Go down to the red light district when your wife's not looking. No, it's my daughter. You want to sleep with your daughter? No, I want you to find her for me. She went missing about a year ago. Came into the big city, started a new life. We fought, she ran away, but now we just want it back. Damn it. Another one of those rolling power cuts. Stupid mayor, when's he gonna get this energy deficit that Crooked Valley has fixed? I'm voting Brad Berkeley in next year's elections. Oh, that's better. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, sir. This town needs a little farm girls up for breakfast. Anyway, why come to me? Well, it said you were the best. From who? Well, you're rating five stars on ratemyprivatedetective.com. I'm flattered. Any more questions about your task? Just one. Who prints out photographs anymore? Don't you have a phone you can show me a picture on? Crooked Valley is still grieving after the recent loss of straight-laced cop Ken Tardelli. It's believed he was gunned down by a local junkie who was arrested and who maintains his innocence. Fellow police officer Anthony Dragovich expressed shock about his colleague's death. Shame we lost Tardelli, he was a good cop. I don't think we had two cross words to say to each other. And to honour him, this great cop who give his life for this city and his people, I'm going to be making a collection, okay? So uh, if you make out the checks to Anthony Bragovich, I'll make sure he gets to his beautiful wife, two gorgeous children. But he didn't have any wife or kids. Another good cop shot in suspicious circumstances. What are you talking about? It was a junk you killed them. You really believe that? Well, yeah. It was on the government-funded local news. This police department reeks of corruption. When I was a kid, I played cops and robbers, right? I used to capture the robbers and put them in a little prison made out of twigs. My school playground was a pretend crime-free zone. I didn't let them get away with it like they do around here. Man, you are depressing me, Harry. Besides, even if Crooked Valley was filled with violent crime, it's not like there's anything we can do about it. We're the police! We're supposed to do something about it. In Colour Town, the place is so peaceful that you're not even allowed to sell bananas because they bear too much resemblance to a gun. Their cops take action against crime. Cops in Crooked Valley wouldn't know crime if it knocked on the door and fight itself in and bang the girlfriend. You're exaggerating. Hi, uh, sorry I'm late. Some big guy was carrying a giant rolled up carpet outside my neighbour's apartment, so I helped him carry it down the stairs. The carpet was really heavy though, about the weight of a human body. And the guy said he spilled ketchup all over it because there was red stuff leaking out the carpet. You're lucky you didn't get any on your shirt. Anyway, I gave him and his carpet a ride down to the local river. He said he was going to go for a swim with the carpet. In this cold weather? I know, crazy or what? <sighs> I checked all the usual haunts and hostels that kids go to stay in when they first arrive in town, but no luck. I wandered the streets wondering where she could be. Eventually I came across a shoe shiner who told me, first of all, that I wasn't eligible for a shoe shine because I was wearing flip flops, and second, she recognised the girl as someone who used to stay above the Lucky Minor bar. I interviewed the bartender there. I think she died some years ago in a bar brawl. You gonna buy a drink? Or you gonna get out of here? I didn't want any trouble so I agreed and he served me some suspicious tasting tequila. <laughs> it looked like a dead end. Hey baby, do you wanna go for a ride? Depends what kind of car you have. I'm not talking about a car. Oh please, you're a prostitute? Great, the only woman I meet today and you're a car girl? This town could really use some better female role models. Are you turning me down? I didn't say that. Her breath smelled like cigarettes and pineapple. Give me your money now. Oh crap. Here you go. Wait a minute, Simon? Simon this away? Who are you? It's me, Dick Pesco. We went to school together. You were in the same biology class. Oh yeah, I remember you with that fat bitch of a teacher. Mrs. Mrs. Namath! <laughs> Shit man, how you doing? <laughs> Good man, what you up to? 
Uh, this man, I'm robbing you. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. Hey, have you still got that weak leg from the football accident? Yeah, man, unfortunately. <laughs> Good. <laughs> hey, come back so I can kill you. Oh, I'll sort this out. So what if he is? The boss doesn't want any more heat with the police. What's going on here? Why have you brought this person back to our hideout? Who are you? You don't know who I am? Nope. I'm Madame Derriere, one of the most notorious gang leaders in the whole of Crooked Valley. Seriously, you haven't heard of me? Have you been living under a rock? Sorry, but there isn't exactly a gossip column in the Crooked Valley Chronicle updating its readers on the changes in gang leaders. You're sarcastic. I don't like sarcasm. Kill him. Come on, you piece of crap! Get up! Wait, wait, wait! Of course I've heard of you. You're THE Madame Derrière. Can I get your autograph? I'm looking for a girl called Rosie Lee Jandro. Wait! Did you say Rosie Lee? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so mad, I'm gonna finish him off myself. God, you do not want to mess with her. Oh, please, 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 please don't hurt me. Okay, your search is over. You know where the missing girl is? Oh, was she the one with the wallet who? No, I'm Rosalie Jondrill. I'm the girl you're looking for. Great, your parents will be thrilled I found you. Oh, I've missed him so much. I only walked out on them so I didn't have to do the dishes. <laughs> and they're so stubborn. They'll have kept them dishes dirty for eight years for me to clean. Hang on a second, you want to go back? Yeah, that's what you came here for, right? Well, yeah, why would you want to go back? You're head of a criminal gang here and it looks pretty cool. Ugh, I hate it here. It was fun at first, robbing banks and killing cronies for failing to do my bidding. But I'm bored now. I think I just need to go back to my old life and get a normal job. <laughs> Plus the Wi-Fi reception here is terrible. So your time here as a criminal overlord was like some kind of gap year? Being a criminal overlord isn't that great. I'm called Madame Derriere. Do you know what Derriere means in French? Arse. My badass nickname literally translates to Mrs. Arse. I'm the only one in this group that stayed in school and is intelligent enough to know that. Apologies for the blackout. We can now return to our interview. I'm set here with this Chief of Police, Sebastian Emerenko. Pleasure to be here. Mr. Iremenko, you've been the Chief of Police for five years now, yet in that time, crime has gone up every year. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, the truth is, Tiffany, is that Crooked Valley has always had a violent history. Technically, it still says on the town charter, you can shoot a Mexican with a shotgun. And some of these proposals people have been clamouring for just won't make a difference. Seriously, how would it help if the city banned all handguns? There'd be an immediate drop in shootings and suicides? Well, we all know, Tiffany, that guns don't kill people. Grenade launchers, they'll fuck you up. There's an election coming just around the corner. How confident are you that Mayor Chase Sutherland will still be in charge after it? Well, the Mayor's always been committed to sweeping the streets clean of crime. Yes, but what has he done to tackle the issue, other than build a giant statue of a sweeping brush? But that brush is a symbol of him cleaning up. But he hasn't done a thing! You know, this is typical of the liberal anti-city hall stance your channel has always had against us. This interview is over. Going next door to be interviewed by a local funded news channel instead. They at least respect us. Chief Arimanko, have you lost weight? Yes, I have. I brought Rosalie back to a rendezvous point myself and Rosalie's father had agreed upon. Ah, here's your father. Try not to cry. I know it'll be emotional. Why would I cry about a complete stranger? What are you talking about? He's your father. That's not my father. He's not? Okay, you got me. I'm not a father. I'm Detective Estevez, part of the task force cracking down on gang leaders in Crooked Valley. 
I only said I was a father so he could find her for me. <laughs> Hang on a minute. There's actual cops in this city trying to stop crime. You're a real catch, Madame Derriere. <laughs> Thank you. It's always nice to meet a fan. Or at least someone who's heard of me. Wait, why didn't you find it yourself, Estevez? You're a cop. Well, I fancied a few days off. I thought, why not get some useless private detective to do my job while I go sunbathing for the weekend in Sunset City? Does this mean I'm not getting paid? Now I'll get all the glory in the office. Maybe the chief will remember me at next year's police picnic. Now if you'll excuse me while I take you to a prison cell. Oh, it's another power cut! Quick, let's spring into action. Take that! Yeah! Ah, kick his ass! <coughs> Fantastic work, Rosalie. I never knew you knew Kung Fu. Some of those high fi kicks are better than any CGI or stunts that Hollywood has ever come up with. Rosalie did eventually find her parents, but they had had more kids since her and were really interested in having another mouth to feed. So instead, she joined me as a fellow private detective. We've got a case in the wastelands, partner. To the detective mobile! We don't have one. Then, let's call a cab. <laughs>